All right, we're jumping into our first article, which is a new nano de- a new nanoparticle developed by a team from MIT, led by Dr. Sangeeta Bhatia. Um, and basically, what their new nanoparticle does is it can detect whether you have cancer, one, and also where it's located in your body, basically just from looking at your urine or your pee. So it's, it's, it's a pogo. Pretty intense. Yeah. Yeah. I dig it. It's awesome. So the problem they're solving is really one, it's challenging to pinpoint when someone has cancer period. Um, and then more so than that, it's even more challenging to pinpoint where it's located Mm -hmm. and an earlier diagnosis can be made, the better the chances of survival are for a cancer patient. So I didn't know this, but here's a stat I found while doing research for this episode. For lung cancer, the five-year survival rates are at least six times higher in patients whose tumors are detected before they metastasize and spread somewhere else. So if you can detect tumors while they're small and before they spread, at least for lung cancer, and I'm assuming it's similar for other types of cancer, it's six. their survival rate is six times higher. Uh, what's, what's the current like method of diagnosing someone with cancer, like preventative measures? Is it during your like yearly checkup, they, they run some sort of test? I'm not too familiar with this, honestly. Yeah, so if you're assumed to be at risk for cancer, mm-hmm. they do imaging tests, which gotcha. like they do on a regular basis, like every six months or every year. Imaging is used to look for cancer. So that's like CAT scans. They also have these things called PET scans that take a look at how your organs function. But okay. they often yield false positives. They're costly, and they miss very early cancer. So when the tumors are small, it's hard to distinguish that from another part of your organs. Oh. And when they start to get larger, like for lung cancer, for example, they might tell you you have cancer, and they need to go in and do surgery and find out that it's a benign growth somewhere in your lungs. So the problem here is when does someone have cancer? How do we figure that out in an easy and you know, cost-effective way? I mean, how can we also find out where it's located? So... So, Dr. Batia and her team have found these nanoparticles that you either inhale or you inject into the body and they okay. can do just both of those two things. How does it work? So like I'm assuming with detection you 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 know consume the nanoparticles and then based on the title I'm assuming you pee it out and maybe there's a color difference if they're looking for something specific in the pee, right? But how can they tell like where the tumor is? based on the pee. Okay, so these tiny nanoparticles, they're called peptides, which are basically okay. just chunks of protein molecules. So they're very, Not very Pepto-Bismol. small pieces. Yeah, <laughs> tiny small pieces of protein molecules. And you're right, you consume them either by inhaling them or injecting them into the bloodstream. And these tiny peptide nanoparticles actually flock to wherever cancer is. So they're attracted okay. to where the cancer cells are. And so here's where they do the two things. One, when the cancer is present, these mm-hmm. tiny molecules will produce a signal chemical that exits the body in the urine. So oh. uh, you consume these particles, you know, they find their way to, if there's a tumor in your body, they'll find their way to the cancerous cells and they'll produce this chemical that exits in your urine and can be detected in a paper test, uh, just like a pregnancy test. So you pee on a stick and it'll tell you whether or not you have cancer. Um, so okay. that's like, to me, as you know, compare that to the imaging studies, that seems like a really, you know, efficient way, really cost efficient. And it's not as, you know, invasive, let's say, so like, you don't have to go s- sit there and have an MRI for hours. You can just kind of like inhale this mist of particles and then pee on a stick and it'll tell you whether or not you have cancer. So that solves one of the two problems right and there, right off the bat. Like, I, I just did my first like doctor check after five years and like doing urine tests is, is part of like their routine procedure, right? And there's so much they can tell by looking at your pee and you could just add that to the list of things to look for, therefore not disrupting the flow, not doing any extra tests to just get the green light that, yeah, you don't have cancer. Exactly. So there's the second part of this is finding, so, oh wait, I do have cancer. Where is that located? So if you remember, I told you these little peptide nanoparticles are attracted to the tumors and they kind of flock to the right. cancerous area in the body. So what they do is they would do a follow-up test where they coat these nanoparticles in a radioactive tracer, copper 64, so that it can be picked up using, you know, I talked about PET scans earlier, where they look at how your organs function and flow inside the body. They can pick up this radioactive tracer, copper 64, in these PET scans. So basically the way that uh, 
Dr. Bhatia and her team imagines this working is every year you would get a urine test as part of a general checkup. They would test whether or not you have cancer, like you're saying, nice. and then you would only do an imaging study where they put the radioactive particles in you only if the urine test turns positive. So you're not being exposed to radiation, you know, without undue cause, but then you can do a follow-up test where you inhale or inject these copper 64 particles. It flocks to where the cancer is. You do the imaging test and it tells you exactly in the body where this signal is coming from. So it can one, locate whether or not you have cancer in an easy way. And then two, find out where it is in your body. So the radioactive copper 64, does that, cause I mean, the benefit is clear. It's going to be able to localize the tumor. Does that do any significant damage to the body? It's it's not extremely harmful. There is some inherent risk associated with putting radioactive particles inside your body, and that's why they would only use it in the case that they've which makes found sense. The cancer. It's a calculated risk to be able to locate the tumors and okay. treat them. So it's like getting an X-ray, uh, like risk-wise. You you know exactly. you're getting some radiation. And it's not great, but you only get an X-ray when really needed. If you're doing a PET scan, you're already using a radioactive tracer oh, inside the body. Okay, so didn't even know that. You know, it's it's just another alternative to the tracers already being used for PET scans, and it concentrates exactly where the tumors are located. And you know, you're worried about you mentioned some concerns about whether this is okay with the body. Uh, Dr. Batia's team has already done phase one clinical trials with an earlier version nice. of these same particles, and it found them to be safe for patients. So it's these specific this specific iteration hasn't yet been tested but there's promising results based on previous tests saying that you know this might be able to be cleared for human testing and we might be able to see uh you know urinary diagnostic particles like this at least telling whether or not you have cancer from your pee you know in the next few years that's music to my ears man and you know what i i would love this to become a part of my routine tests that is if if i start actually going to the doctor once a year making sure i'm healthy make sure it's all good um, yeah, well, especially because it can massively increase the survival rates. It exactly. It seems like a no-brainer to be able to do you know, an easy urine test to figure out whether or not you have cancer. 100% agree with you. 